<gasps> that was so crazy. Are you pregnant again? <laughs> and one day or two days pregnant, depending on how you're counting, but this is crazy because I am officially in the third trimester of pregnancy. Sorry, James is still coloring. If you can hear something on the TV, it's because Joe and Lily are there watching Toy Story on the TV while I'm doing this, but it's the first screen time that they've had today other than they played uh, this little educational game that we really love, Osmo. So yeah, so they're watching some TV. So if you hear Toy Story, that's why you hear Toy Story. <laughs> Anyways, right before that I was recording my belly shot and while I was recording it, I just kind of have this like moment of holy my belly is massive and I actually like said it out loud and then Joe was like, yeah, your belly is really big and then he said something really funny. He goes, your back is really small though. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. It's so, so big. Your back is so small. Your belly is so big. Anyways, this week has been really, really difficult. I think I told you guys when I made my 27 week update that ever since the day before, I had been having a really, really bad pain. Kind of like someone was like pulling uh, my belly apart and I actually showed you guys, but I'll show you one more time. But I was like, it kind of feels like someone is like pulling my belly apart this way. The pain didn't go away and it actually got worse and worse and worse to the point where like I was in so, so much pain. I could barely do anything and so I was basically like doing things really quickly for five minutes and then like lying down for a few minutes and doing things really quickly and lying down like I was in so so much pain that went on for like probably three or four days this week and then after all of that happened I was lying on my bed one day and I'm gonna actually try and after I finish recording this I'm gonna try and like replicate what happened so I'll play it here if I can but I was lying on my bed and I kind of coughed and my belly did something it has never done before instead of being like round and flexing and like a downwards position if you know what I mean it kind of like turned into a pyramid which I thought was super super weird because the only time I've ever seen that before was when Joe was born and he was born with mom yep did something really not nice. Sorry, where was I? Yeah, so the only time that I'd seen that before was when Joe was a baby and Joe was born with split abs. So his abs, like, you know, your abs are like muscles that run up on either side of your belly button, basically. His were split, they weren't together. And so if he was trying to sit up or get up or if he was lying down and he coughed or flexed in any way, his belly would get this like little bulge in the center. Like instead of just like, moving together the abs would be like this and it was super weird and super gross to look at and I actually I actually don't think it went away till he was probably like two and a half years old like it was only recently I'm not recently recently obviously he's like more than four and a half now but um it did take a really really long time to go away which is my point point. and so when I was lying in bed and I saw that I just thought oh my gosh was all that pain for like four days straight uh was that my abs splitting I don't know now I'm like super super nervous if that was so I called the midwife and she said it's not a huge deal there's not that much that I can do about it other than go to physio so since I have a midwife appointment next Wednesday she's gonna check it out and tell me then but I don't feel anything different honestly like you know a lot of people have said to me oh if that happened you'd be able to like feel a divot down the center of your belly I don't really feel that I don't really feel anything at all I just know that Every time I flex when I'm lying on my back, it looks super weird. Like, I don't remember it ever looking like this before. And so I am a little concerned. And I'm also kind of concerned about like, what all that pain was because I was in an immense amount of pain earlier this week. So yeah, it hasn't been the best week pregnancy wise. I also started suffering with tinnitus, which is something I've never had before in my life. And if you haven't had it, it's this really crazy thing that happens with your ears where like, you know, you'll be walking around and there's just like this general fog of noise, this like, just like all the time. So that's kind of like my life. I'll be like, oh shit. Well, we'll see you when we see you. Uh, I'll talk to you soon though. I'm in the middle of recording something, okay? No, it's not, it's not grandma, it's daddy. 
I don't know where I was again. Oh yeah, so you know how you're like walking around and there's this like general like, it's just like static background noise. And it's like, if I just stop right now and I turn up the volume really, really loud on the camera, you're gonna hear, actually no, you won't hear because you'll hear Toy Story in the background. Maybe you'll hear, let me try. No, you're gonna hear Toy Story. So anyways. <laughs> This is gonna be the most scattered video ever. Okay, so there's this like general like static in the background. There's really nowhere in the world that you can go that like things are just like silent. And so I'll be walking around, there'll be this static in the background and then it'll get a little louder, a little louder, a little louder. And then all of a sudden it'll just be like, like, like the sound that your ears make as you jump into a pool of water and like all the sounds of like the outside world disappear. But then instead of hearing like the water sound after, I will just be left with this ringing sound. It's so weird, it's so annoying, it's so crazy. And like every time it happens, I'm just like, I like my hearing back and I'd like to not hear a constant ringing sound in the back of my ears. So yeah, that's another fancy symptom that I've got for the end of this pregnancy. It's like. I have all of the old symptoms from all my other pregnancies, except they're like the late symptoms. I've had them really early on. And now my body's like, well, since we've already used up all the symptoms from the other pregnancy, let's see what else we can give you. <laughs> uh, my skin is still super dry. My lips are super, super dry. You probably noticed because probably for about a month now, I have just been licking my lips constantly. And when I'm editing the videos, I notice myself doing it and it bothers me so much. <laughs> I am just a dry, flaky thing in general, as usual, and my lips have joined the party of flakiness. So um, that's been fun. But other than that, kind of the only symptom that I've noticed that's like really been strong this week is I've had like this really strong aversion to smells. So like people's breath in the morning, like even if the kids get into bed with me, normally I'd be like, oh, come, I'll hug you. But now I'm just like, don't like you just you stink if you want to hug go rush your teeth <laughs> Seriously, I can't handle people's breath. I can't handle the smell of cheese I can't handle the smell of shampoo like the kids will go to my mom's house And she always like bathes them and shampoos their hair if we're sleeping over We don't use a lot of products in our house. We basically shampoo the kids hair if it's visibly dirty and so the smell of shampoo is already like so foreign to me, but then my mom uses all these fancy, like super smelly shampoos and stuff. The next morning, like I'll go to take Lily out of bed and as I pick her up, I'm like, oh. <laughs> so yeah, just everything has been really, really smelly to me and my abs have been hurting and my ears have been crazy and my skin has been flaky. So once again, glamorous pregnancy life with my hair in my mouth. <laughs> I do have some news from this week, and the first bit of news is that, oh my gosh. Okay, so you guys know that financially, what's up, buddy? I can't hear the movie really. Oh, sorry, I'll be done in like two minutes, okay? Okay. You can turn, why don't you turn it up, but just like three clicks, okay? What is up with that girl? She's always picking her belly button. Look at her. What are you doing, Lily? What? Hey, that's my, that's my lemon water. No, it's mine. Mm. So lemony. Mm. I'm sitting at the kids table in their craft room right now. Now I have to like come down like this. <laughs> You're showing everybody your room? It's just lemon water, bud. It's not lemonade, it's lemon water. You're taking it? I just want to do this really good. You don't want to do it. It's really, really good. I always try to do it. So anyways, the first bit of news from this week, which you probably just saw, is that Joe got his hair cut. I cut my hair. You know, you cut your bangs, but you never cut your hair yet. I didn't cut my bangs. So anyways, he... I was breathing into my hand and I pulled my hand away from my mouth and a little bit of drool was like on my, I don't know how that happened, but anyways. Chester, hey! So the other thing that happened this week and it's so weird, life just works in all these like mysterious ways, but as you guys know, a couple of weeks ago, we were told that our tenants were moving out. We'd already spent like a whole bunch of money starting to renovate this house and now we have to renovate the other house. Plus we have to like basically float two mortgages on one income until that house sells now. 
and so all of a sudden like two weeks ago we were like whoa like what are we gonna do we really have to like pull some strings here and figure some stuff out but life seems to work in these crazy mysterious ways and it's always like this and so this week on Monday Alex actually got a promotion at work Chester get down Oh my god, I really need to wrap this up. Anyways, the point of the story is, is that Alex actually got a huge promotion at work. He is the foreman of his job now, which is really exciting because he gets to wear a white hard hat. <laughs> But yeah, he is in charge of basically the plumbing for an entire hospital, which is really, really awesome. It's slightly more time consuming than his previous position, which kind of sucks because as you guys know, Alex was trying to get into firefighting and still is trying to get into firefighting so that he has less hours at work. But if he is going to be in plumbing until he gets a job in firefighting, then 100% he'd rather be getting paid a lot more and, you know, wearing the hat of LFA. So um, he is very, very happy and it kind of figured out basically everything for us. So life is really good. Other than my abs, that's really nasty. But other than that, life is really good. So I'll talk to you guys soon and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Bye. Ouch, that super hurt. Can I show you something? Yeah, what? Okay, ready? Here, look at here, ready? Who's that? Me! Hello, future! <laughs> Do you look handsome or what? Yeah! Hello, <laughs> future! You're a silly boy. Hello, okay, go play iPad. Future. Whoa! <gasps> Joey! Are you okay?